Jackson. Well, more specifically, urban air mobility. NBC10 DC correspondent Bree Jackson looks at how scientists and researchers would handle the potential of traffic jams in the sky. Oh joy! <laughs> Can't you see me flying in a Maserati down the uh, through the skies? Of mm -hmm. And the officer friendly, right behind, right alongside <laughs> you. you and me both. So back to school for the kids could mean a bargain vacation for you. Travel agents say that demand starts to slow down even in early August. That a West Monroe man is charged with molesting a little girl he was babysitting. 32-year-old Fred McDaniel is charged with sexual battery. Police arrested him after the child told her parents that Big Fred touched her private parts. Breaking news to tell you about now out of Tensall Parish concerning 911 lines. According to Northeast Louisiana's Ambulance Service's Facebook page, AT&T says all their phone lines are down and in around waterproof. I'm Natasha Williams. Our top story at 5, a Monroe man is accused of molesting an underage girl and his family for more than a year. 53-year-old George Morton is in the Washtenaw Correctional Center on charges of aggravated crime against nature. Another Monroe man is accused of dragging a woman by her hair and punching a child in the face. I'm Natasha Williams. It's been a month since we reported on a teenage girl killed outside a West Monroe home. Now, six weeks later, a 16-year-old is shot in that same home. Thanks a lot, Randy. El Dorado police are cracking down on fast drivers. They've joined a nationwide campaign to fight it. It's called Obey the Sign or Pay the Fine. She would have been a senior in high school this fall, but back in February, a bullet took Alyssa Knights' life. She was only 17. A 13-year-old boy pointed the gun at her and told her it wasn't loaded. Monroe voters could be facing another tax hike. The Downtown Economic Development District is proposing a property tax for infrastructure projects. I was That's thinking cool. Too. Yeah, is that something? Yeah. That's just something I just want to buy. I didn't want to win it. I just want to buy it off eBay well, or you something couldn't. or Amazon. You know, you couldn't win it. In the immortal words of the nation. Like a recent study has named Monroe as the most poverty-stricken city in Louisiana. The study is done by 24-7 Wall Street, a financial news website. STEAM is the art in STEM. NBC 10's Rebecca Velasquez is back to tell us more about how a STEAM education could change how our children learn. Right, Rebecca? They say most of the thefts come from people just leaving their doors unlocked and belongings out in the open. Crimes of opportunity. Absolutely. Morehouse deputies believe they've caught the person responsible for killing a dog and posting that video on Snapchat. Now, deputies believe the incident occurred just outside Marouge on Handy Hill Road in Morehouse Parish. If you like trivia games and free money, then you'll want to download the app. That's right. Later, why Louisiana's junior senator is standing firm with the agency at the center of the migrant family's fight. But first, I decided to go for a run Wednesday like I'd done several times a week for months here at the popular West Monroe track. Lots of people had the same idea, but after about 30 minutes, I realized I was on the track alone. Leaving my keys here on the bench of the track is something I do every time I come here to run. But I never expected someone to grab those keys and take off. Yeah, I've never heard of anybody like having that happen to them. But that's exactly what happened to me. I watched a man on a bike drive up to the bench, take my keys and pedal away. Luckily for me, I ran the suspected thief down, tried to grab my keys, but when he pushed me, I slugged him and I grabbed my keys. He pushed me again and I slugged him again. I had already called police. They were on the line with me as I fought to get my keys back. Caitlin Donald just finished her finals at Louisiana Tech, and when she comes home, this track is where she comes to exercise. Of all the years that I've like run here, that's never really been an issue, but it is believable considering how many people pass by here every day. Caitlin plans to change her routine. Wednesday, she left her car keys on the track bench like I did, but she says she won't do it again. Next time, I'll for sure keep my keys in my car. I definitely am surprised that of all people that are around here, that somebody would come and do that, yeah. But another track regular is not surprised at all. She says her keys are locked up as she runs. I have one of those little keypads, so I lock mine in the car, and it's actually one of the things I used to, when I ran, used to have to carry my keys mm -hmm. because I was kind of timid about leaving them. Because when you get around, you can't necessarily see what's going on. Music and great food, how can you go wrong with that? It's all a part of the new Murphy Arts District, or MAD, in El Dorado. The new multi-million dollar state-of-the-art facility is named for its major donor, Murphy Oil. And as we found out, this longtime project is expected to bring headlining entertainment, not just at its grand opening, but for many years to come. It's been years in the making and took $20 million to pull off. It's so exciting. And every now and then it's like a dream because if you've been in this project for a while, you remember when it was just a giant pile of dirt and debris. Chief Marketing Officer Bob Terran gave us a walking tour of the Murphy Museum District. Still under construction, but quickly taking shape. So what we're looking at here is the amphitheater to the left. 
and uh, straight ahead of us, and to, uh, over at the far left are these two pavilions uh, that we're going to be using for concessions during our amphitheater events, mm -hmm. and also farm to table farmers market a couple times a month. A project like MAD doesn't just come about. After years of feasibility studies, experts, and even a little soul searching, community and business leaders decided uh, Arts District would tap into both the legacy of the community and something that tourists and residents alike would support. Acts will be nothing short of top shelf headliners, bringing their talent to the Arklamas' newest state of the art entertainment center. This is center stage where acts like Migos and Ludacris will perform in late September. Other acts like ZZ Top, Smokey Robinson, and Brad Paisley will perform here at the amphitheater during the grand opening of MAD. The art and entertainment district will boost a half a dozen venues spanning over three blocks in downtown, and a huge kids playground will also be a part of the finished project. Music lovers can pack the amphitheater, the music hall that seats 2,000, and then have a delicious meal at a farm to table restaurant. Our chef and head of operations is completely committed to being a farm to table experience. That means uh, as much produce, as much uh, meats and fish, et cetera, sourced right from the state of Arkansas. And this is going to be the green room for the performers that are going to be on the stage. And Taryn pointing out more of the special attention to every detail. An interesting technical fact here is that the air vents are huge. The air management, the air flow systems are big enough for somebody to walk through because we don't want any air noise. Like at home, when I turn on the air, I can hear the air rushing through my vents. Not at MAD, their goal from day one, putting the old historical oil town of El Dorado front and center as it begins a unique renaissance that supporters hope will draw large crowds for decades to come. All the details, including the list of artists performing, on myarklamas.com.